Hello again, everyone, and welcome to this week's market update for April 1st. At the time of this update, we are still awaiting the arrival of ramps as the crazy weather this past winter has delayed the start of this year's season. There are a few out there in the marketplace, but quality is marginal and prices are steep. Check back with us later in the week and hopefully we will have some good news to report. Our first shipment of stinging nettle arrived this week. Stinging nettle is very versatile. It can be cooked in stews and soups, brewed as an herbal tea, and is a very popular plant in western herbal medicine. Studies suggest that it may reduce inflammation, hay fever symptoms, blood pressure, and blood sugar levels, among other benefits. Stinging nettle is the name given to the common nettle, garden nettle, and hybrids of these plants. Originally from the colder regions of northern Europe and Asia, this herbaceous shrub grows all over the world today. Stinging nettle grows well in nitrogen-rich soil, blooms between June and September, and usually reaches about two to four feet high. It looks to be another good year for Texas peaches, and we may have some as early as Memorial Day weekend. Early dormancy and rain all winter have allowed the trees in California to wake up and produce a very nice crop set. It's being reported that usually when you have those two combinations, the eating quality of the fruit is great. Pure Fresh is reporting that with new apricot varieties in production, they will be able to supply apricots from the beginning of May almost to the end of July. Now this year is looking very optimistic for cherries. The current crop on the trees is very nice and currently the estimated start date is May 1st, a bit later than normal, and beans should start around the 1st of June. We should see a few black plums with red flesh starting up around mid-May. Now avocado prices are on the rise again this week and have taken quite a large increase. With California volumes lower than last year and Peruvian production still on standby, Mexico continues to lead industry supplies. Harvest flow is stable for the current week, expecting another 65 plus million pound harvest. But despite strong harvest from Mexico, the demand continues to outpace the supply. Shippers have seen consumption increase over the last few months with a lot of retail ad activity and low retail price points driving the demand. Well, that's it for this week. If you have any questions or you need further information, please contact our customer service department or your sales rep. Thank you very much.